Hey, what's up everybody? This is a uh, video I have created. This, uh, look for some good lighting. I don't have any. Right here. I've got a tail that I had made for uh, cosplaying. It's got a little metal bracket here at the top. Just for now, I was working on it. It's sewn together. It's looking like crap right now. I'm all frayed because I'm the way I'm holding it. But at the end, it comes down. It's actually curved backwards towards the... Uh, away from the feet and it's pretty decent size too it's from your waistline you can't even see that it goes down just past like but halfway between your knee and your ankle anyways but i've been working on this project for a very long time uh, i posted a video i don't know if it was on youtube or not but i, I know i posted a video up onto uh, facebook a long time ago um it was just like the frame the metal uh, piece, which is that bracket that you saw at the top. It's got a metal rod that runs all the way down to about two inches from the end, and it's got uh, that all the way through it, and it's twisted, so it's like really rigid. It's sturdy. It does wag like a tail, like it'll move around and stuff. It's very flexible, and because of the way that the tail, at, the metal piece acts as a uh, spine, it'll actually, like when the tail wags, the whole thing will curve like a natural curve, like when, you, when I twist this thing back, and, well... I gotta, I'd have to hold it in one hand and twist it with the other, see if I can do this. I'll just grab on it like that. There we go. I gotta hold the camera with my armpit, sorry. Hold on to the tail and just twist it back and forth. The whole thing actually moves like a natural tail. It's pretty cool. So anyways, yeah, that's... Uh, um, now that i figured out how, the best way to do it, um, I've been using the, the, the same material that these packing peanuts are made of. Uh, in fact, these were the ones that were on it. That's why there's a hole in it. I slid, like, however many are there, like, 19 of them on over the metal rod, and it worked well, but it looked like a spine with all the different sections, but I couldn't get the, the proper uh, connection, like, to hold in place, so what I did was I wound up taking some of this, I went to the store to Joann's today, I grabbed, nah, non-sponsored, and I grabbed this cotton thing, I don't know what it is, it's just cotton strip. And I stabbed the metal thing through. I slowly worked it through so it didn't stick out the sides. And I worked it all the way in. I grabbed a, uh, a three and a half foot section of this stuff. As you can see, it starts way over there and it works way back to here. That's three and a half feet long. And I just fed it through. And when it got to the right end, I went about an inch past the end so it was uh, easily maneuverable. And I cut it off. And I got the other half here. I can make a smaller tail or something. And... Uh, yeah, that works out fine. I got some black fur. Uh, I only used this section here. I used three of these. Like, th this comes in a big square. It's like this. The other side, too, it's like one big piece. And I, I wound up using three of them down from each other because I had one that I had already got. And they're only, like, this wide. I cut them into little strips. So, well, I cut them into strips that were this wide. That wide right there. And I just wrapped it around it because it wraps around quite nicely. And... I took the one end was already uh, hooked in place with some tape when I bought it. It was solid. I took the other end with this um, medical tape or athletic tape, whatever, and I wrapped it around the other end and get that nice and tight so it's not going to just fray and send uh, freaking cotton everywhere. And then I just took this and I sewed it to it. It's kind of crudely sewn. Like if you look very closely right here, you can see every little every little stitch. It goes one two, three, because I just kind of went through the fabric, through the, um, the fabric, through the cotton, and out through the fabric, and just looped it over, and just kept looping it. It holds really good, but if, what I'm trying to get to is, I'm, I would like to make some of those for people, if you order one, um, where I go to get my stuff, they have a huge variety of all types of, uh, materials and stuff, you can get anything, so, if you're just interested in one of those, I can make them. I've got the materials, and I've got the time after work. I come home and have nothing else to do, so help me out. Uh, I don't have any way to, for you to pay me yet, but if this starts working, I'll just open... I have a PayPal account, but I don't have anything linked to it yet, so if you'd like one, uh, let me know, and tell me how you want it, how long you need it to be. Uh, it'll have this cotton piece in it. If you want a little uh, two-foot piece and a little two foot tail right now i've got a piece ready to go but anyways uh just however you want it if you want a big bushy tail you want a skinny tail um that's 
all I've got for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this thing everywhere you can. I'm trying to get the views.